all this one. Teddy, what kind of fighter are you expect? Well, the kind of guys that they get insulted if you miss them, Joe. He scored well after being hit himself. Good work with the combinations there. Bernard Hopkins is now really on target. Bernard Hopkins going old school there. B-hop with your basic one-two. B-hop against Roy Jones Jr. We know they don't like each other a lot. We know they've had paralleled careers. There's always a lot of comparisons. They finally meet up again. The first time they fought Teddy, though, it wasn't really an attractive fight. They kind of neutralized each other. Yeah, they did. I mean, that's their styles a little bit. They're both guys that are safety first fighters. Uh, that's their temperament. That's their makeup. Roy Jones is better athletically, better physically. He's a little faster, but the one advantage that Hopkins has technically is better. You know, Jones depends on reflexes. But if that's not there for him, if that's a little bit off, the other guy who depends on just good habits, he can have an advantage. It could be Hopkins night. Good exchange. He fires back. Hopkins is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And now he's targeting upstairs. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, if this keeps up, they're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Bernard Hopkins is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hopkins' right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Jones's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Hopkins is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Very accurate with the overhand right. Roy Jones Jr.'s defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Hopkins, his right hand scores well. Sort of like a loaded gun, that straight punch there, Teddy. You can see him lining it up and then just releasing and hitting that trigger. Yeah, you're right. A loaded gun with a nice long barrel that makes sure that the bullet, in this case the punch, goes nice and accurate. Straight ahead. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Jab right hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Hopkins is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Halfway through round number two. Not an accurate hook at all. There's the old one-two. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far, and they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. 
I mean, it's just extraordinary. Hopkins is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Hopkins is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. And that's the end of round two. Junior's got to come up with something here because his eye just closed. Yeah, well, what he has to do is his opponent knows what he has to do. His opponent has to throw punches from that side. What he has to do is take that side away from him, position himself in the ring where those punches are not available to his opponent. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Good step back. Big right hand. Roy Jones Jr.'s rock solid, and he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught have good habits. Have the belt and on. now he's on the record of saying, I saw that one. That's a warning for the world. And bang, and away he goes. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. The fight is over. Jones's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, the executioner, Hawkins.